Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we got an exciting unboxing. But first, this is the Tuya Envy 2. Let's put this away, because we got to get to this unboxing. Now, I'm really excited about this one. It's been a long time coming, and I'll be honest, I've been very jealous of all the other people that got to try it before me. Very jealous. But here we go. Let's check it out. This is the TW Price Dawn, and it is a prototype. There's a couple prototypes that were available. The other version is, um, it's not black. It's just plain stonewash, but still has the purple purple pivot purple pivot collar try saying that five times fast purple pivot collar purple pivot collar um ooh, that was nice that was really nice oh yeah oh yeah so first off before i really break it down and start getting into it and start tearing it apart and all these things i love the profile this is my style of knife it looks like my kind of knife it really does the blade shape the handle everything it just to me this looks so good and that's why i was so excited to get my hands on this thing um and also so jealous about everybody else who's reviewing it before me now i tried not to watch the reviews to be honest because i did not even though i know we disagree on so many things me and other reviewers and blah 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 because i i towards the lean towards more of the functionality of a tool more so than other little details but anyways um i try not to watch them because i didn't want their opinions to affect mine but let's try this let's let's check out the deployment first very good on the bottom of the deployment the bottom of the hole the middle it works it is blocked though it's blocked by this little peak right here but it does work it does work top of the hole very, very nice. Very, very nice. Thumb flick. Ooh. Thumb flick works. Uh, you just want to keep your fingers off of the lock bar, and it works just fine. Uh, front flipper. Ooh, works really good. Very, very good. Oh, yeah, buddy. All right, let's try this way. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Slow roll. Very, very nice. Yes. Very fidgety. All deployments were great. However, I can tell already that this is not my style of jimping. Um, one, it doesn't have a jimping that go wraps around. I like my jimping. This is not the kind of jimping I like normally on my front flippers. However, this one works just fine. And let's try it left-handed. Yep, it works just fine. Let's see if the reverse flick. Yes, you can. Um, you just got to, uh, your detent's just going to be a little bit stronger left-handed not by much though it's not bad you just got to use the bottom of the hole and don't put pressure directly on top of the lock bar it works just fine lefty but with the jimping though this is the kind of jimping i like on my front flippers is like this because you see how it goes all the way around the top and it's nice and sharp when they're spread apart like this they can tend to get slippery, especially if your hands are wet. Now, this one works great. It does. It does work great. But you're not going to be able to deploy it like that. You have to go directly in front of it to get it, which is fine. It's not a big deal. It works great. I'm just saying I prefer jimping the wrap all the way around and to be nice and sharp, not this spread apart. Spread apart. The square jimping the spread apart can be a little slippery sometimes, but the, the gripping on this whole knife is like when I go like this with my thumb sliding up, it automatically takes my thumb to the side. Look at that. That's me pushing straight up with my thumb because these lines are, are so deep. It's very nice. If the texture is so nice in the hand, I really, really like this. Um, ergos very good. Oh yeah. That's some good ergos. Nice and close to the blade. I love being able to get them nice and tight to the blade for these push cuts. Um, utility cut, nice and comfortable like that too. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, got to hit my thumb. Very, very nice. Um, I, I, Yeah, it's as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, okay. Uh, well, I do see one issue. Yes, I do. I see one issue. I don't know if I should even talk about it since I haven't put it in the pocket yet. I'll just say it. Okay, so I've done construction my whole life, and I just tend to look at things like measurements, okay? My, my brain just works that way. When I see things, I tear them apart, put them back together, and that's just the way my brain works. So when I look at this, what do I see? This is what I see. I see the measurement 
from here to here looks about as thick or thinner than my pants. My The seam of my pocket looks about the same thickness as this. So when my pocket's going underneath here and it's going to go right here, this is not going to be enough room for it to slide past. So what's going to happen? It's going to go right into this pocket. So this pocket placement with the with this exact clip looks like, and I can't confirm it. I haven't put it in my pocket yet, but you know, it looks like it might be an issue. It might not too. We'll see. I am not, I'm not reviewing it right here, but I'm just saying it looks like it. Now, the one way to fix that would be to put the cutout on the inside. Just put the cutout on the inside or um, canter the clip to the side a little bit, but I would prefer just putting the cutout on the inside. Then you won't have that issue at all. Whether or not this is too you know, grippy underneath the clip that, you know, maybe, I don't think that'll be as bad. Is there a flat spot under there? Oh no, there is a flat spot. So there's a flat spot under there as well. If you look, you can probably see it. There's a flat spot under the clip. So that's cool. So that looks like that'll be fine going in and out of the pocket. I just don't know if it'll make it past this cutout. Anyways, uh, lots of milling in the inside, which is awesome. I can tell it's riding on ceramic bear. Or not ceramic, but I can tell it's running on bearings. Most likely they're ceramic. Um, stop pin. Stop pin lands in a place I don't usually like. However, they did it okay in this case. The reason why they did it okay is because they landed it right here on the thickest part of the blade. So that's good. It's a nice, tough spot to land on. And they, they made it to where it's not going to hit the plunge grind. The reason why I don't normally like them back there is because when you're sharpening, you don't want to sharpen away the steel that the stop pin lands on. But in this case, you're never going to sharpen it back to there. And it doesn't seem like a knife you're going to want to cut in a choil or anything. They left you plenty of sharpening. The plunge grind starts here and ends about right there. So they did give you a lot of life to sharpen away. I like that. So no problem with the stop pin, even though it's not normally the place I would like it, but it still works out good in this case. So they did a good job with that. They did a good job with that. Um, nice big hardware. Even the steel lock bar insert has a big, uh, big hardware. I love to see that. I love the look of this thing. This thing's a killer design. They executed it amazingly. Oh, I'm going to love testing this one. Um, now, like I said, I did not watch all the other reviewers and what they came up with because I, I know that a lot of times I look at things a little different than some of the other reviewers. I look at them from a tool aspect. How are they a functioning tool? Of course, I love to fidget with my knives just like anybody else, but I can't help but look at a knife as a tool and how it works for what it's for. Like it, whether or not it's a hard use knife, uh, a lightweight EDC, uh, just a regular EDC, whatever that knife is for, how good does it function as that? So, and that's what I like to test out and find out for myself and without, you know, having other people's opinions over, you know, my head or in my mind. So, we shall see, man. We shall see. Um, so far, my first impressions are great. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. I definitely, as far as right now, without testing it and everything, I want one. I do want one pretty badly. Um, now, there, like I said, there's, you know, I do see a couple things, and we shall see if those are going to become a problem or if I will see them as a problem and it might keep it out of the pocket. We, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So far, I'm loving it though. I'm loving it. So there you guys go. I will link uh, his information down in the description and anything else I need to link. I love you guys. Peace.